you that. Hey guys, time. welcome to Tarantino's. We're getting ready to make some eggplant parmesan, which is one of our dinner specials tonight. And every Wednesday, anything on our pasta menu is $9.99. So for those of you who haven't made eggplant at home and love eggplant, very, very, very simple. All you need, of course, is a nice eggplant. You need some Italian breadcrumbs. And I highly recommend the Progresso Italian style breadcrumbs at the grocery store. Those are my favorite to use. Then, of course, some mozzarella cheese. You need your Parmesan. Some red sauce, preferably Tarantino's red sauce. We have some fresh cut parsley for garnish and some salt and pepper, a few eggs, and some oil. Let me turn this down a little bit. So I hope everybody's having a great day. I have get to use my knives from Colony Bank. Don't forget to go over there and get your free knives, free checking account that they're giving away this month. So thank you so much to Colony Bank. Appreciate that. So how's everybody doing today? Where are you watching from? Rhonda, how are you? So do we have anybody that wants to help? No? We got a lot of smiling faces, but nobody wants to get on camera. <laughs> All right, so hey guys, don't forget too, we're doing the uh, uh, the Tarantino's Tuscan Christmas. I'll have a box out here collecting gifts to donate to, uh, to the kids on Christmas Day. We'll be riding around, myself and Orchid. We'll spend about four hours on Christmas Day handing out uh, gifts all over the area of Bullock County. Last year we gave away about 300. So those of you that want to participate in that and bring in some gifts for us to hand out, we greatly appreciate it. And any of you businesses out there that want to jump aboard of what we're doing, what we started last year, feel free to contact me, message me, and we can uh, plan some stuff out together. So, All right, so let's get started with the same plant. You can peel it or just use it with the skin on. Obviously, make sure you wash it. But very thin slices. I'm not going to peel it. I used to peel it uh, all the time. Some people prefer skin on, some people like the skin off. Look how beautiful this eggplant is. When you slice it, you want to slice it extremely thin. I'd say about a quarter inch. Because when you fry it, you want to make sure it's cooked all the way through. And you're going to bake it in the oven just to melt the cheese. So about three minutes in the oven at 475. But if you don't, if you cut it too thick, it's going to be bitter in the center. And you don't want that, then it's not going to taste great. So we're gonna do, actually, I wanna get a couple of nice big slices. So tonight you can get this for $9.99 with pasta. And we're not gonna do the pasta, of course. I'm just gonna show you how to do the eggplant. That's a beautiful slice. Look how pretty that eggplant is, huh? All right, let me set this to the side. All right, so you're gonna need some eggs. Now your breadcrumb, you can use the Italian breadcrumb just as it is, or you can add a little seasoning to it, which I'm gonna do that, because you know me. I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan to it. And then I'm gonna mix that up. Thank you, Georgia Southern, uh, for coming in today and booking us for a couple of your events. Very excited to participate with that. Those of you who are local know about Georgia Southern. We had a great lunch today. A lot of fun, the girls from Georgia Southern. All right, so we got that mixed up. Now we're gonna crack our eggs. Let me get my trash can over here. Probably should take the other eggs out before I put my egg in there. About three eggs. You could do about three to four portions of this before you need to add more. And then of course, I'm gonna add some more seasoning. I season everything. Remember, always season lightly. Whip that up real quick. How'd you guys like that post yesterday for those of you that saw it about uh, don't apply at Tarantino's, we love being shorthanded. I've gotten more applications in the past two days from telling people not to apply than I have the whole time I've been here. I think, what do we have? It's like one every three weeks we get someone that applies. Yeah, if lucky, like one a month. Yeah. So don't eat here. I don't want to line out the door. I don't want you to eat the food's garbage. <laughs> it's terrible. And he only eats this on Thursdays. <laughs> all right. See if that works. But anyway. All right. So what we're going to do is we got our mixture here. We're just going to dredge the eggplant through. Just like that. We're going to put it into our breadcrumb. Put these in here. Dredge them both. Stick them. We're going to do three slices. We usually do three to four slices per order, large slices. We're done with this cutting board, so I'm gonna move this out the way. All right, now when you bring your eggplant, I'm a fanatic in the kitchen, 
Instead of, you don't want to just go like that and just toss it through. You want to take your breadcrumb and pack it in there. You want it nice and packed. Again, I forgot a plate. I forget that for a freaking time. Can you grab me a plate, please, so I can stack these on here? You want that? You want the breadcrumbs to be packed in there. And this is another. Ed, how are you? Hey, will this kind of plate suffice? That'll work. Thank cool. you. Yes, sir. Man, it looks so beautiful. And it smells fantastic. Wait till we stop frying it. So, so who should people use for uh, heating and air? Not advanced, no, what? <laughs> advanced heating and cooling. Did I say that right? No, great company, these guys are awesome. They're dining here right now. So remember, pack it down nice. You want that breadcrumb to really stick. You don't want it peeling off when you pop it into the fryer. And that's it. That's one order. And this is how we do every single order of the eggplant, the veal, the chicken. Every order is breaded to order. Every single order. You don't believe me? Ask to come in the kitchen. All right, so now we're gonna get our oil up the temp, which should only take about a minute. And then once we fry the eggplant, I'm gonna give it to my gentleman that's helped me in the back, Mr. Harrison, and he's gonna pop it in the oven for us just to melt the cheese. And one of the things that drives me crazy that restaurants do, especially mostly in non-Italian restaurants that claim to be Italian, sorry, but it's the truth. When you do an eggplant parmesan or a veal parmesan or the chicken parmesan, they, these places, they just drench it in the sauce. There's a couple reasons for that. One, they're using a pre-breaded product or that comes in uniform that's coming out of the freezer instead of doing it fresh and they cover it up or they just don't know how. You wanna get a balance of all the flavors. So when we plate this eggplant, we're gonna have a little bit of sauce over the top, the cheese, so you can taste everything. You want the crispiness of your chicken palm or your eggplant palm. You wanna taste a little of the sauce, the mozzarella, the parmesan. You don't, you don't serve it as a lasagna. It drives me nuts. So we're just about ready, and you can take a few breadcrumbs and drop them in there. And if they start bubbling, we're ready. Let me make sure this is even on. So where are you guys watching from today? Sandra, how are you? If you guys can hear okay, please uh, give me a thumbs up. You can see everything okay. So what you're gonna do at home, if you're using a sheet pan or a pan that you can slide in your oven, whichever you prefer, put a little sauce at the bottom. And that's what we're gonna lay our eggplant in once we uh, fry it up. gonna coat the bottom of the pan, okay? Just like that, and this should be ready in just a second. I probably should have started it for you ahead of time. And don't forget, every Tuesday, for those of you that are near us, we do the two for 20 pizzas, two two topping pizzas. By the way, don't forget, every Tuesday night, every Tuesday, all day long, two for 20 pizzas, two two topping pizzas for $19.99. Whatever toppings you want. So don't miss that one for those of you for those of you that live near me. Oh, and another thing too, don't forget to book. Book now for your Christmas parties. We're getting booked like crazy uh, for December. We're filling up pretty quick. Just about ready. You don't want to put this in until the oil is ready. We want that nice golden brown color, and then we're gonna finish it off in the uh, the oven. Now chicken parmesan. When you're doing that, and I'll do a video on that. You want to make sure you pound it out very thin, so it's pretty much cooked once you take it out of the oil. If it's not, it's a little thick, it's okay, because when you put it in the oven, just leave it in the oven a little bit longer to cook the chicken all the way through as the cheese is melted. Just about done. Just about there. So what other recipes would you guys like to see? Laura, how are you? <laughs> That's you? Is your name Laura? Oh, get the heck out of here. <laughs> I got a bunch of comedians that don't want to get on camera over here. But come back, come back here and say hi to everybody. Just a quick hi. They're running. They're running. <laughs> no, I admit, I didn't see that one. I didn't see it already. Guys, thank you so much for dining with us. I'll talk to you later. I'm glad you like that pie. Hey, y'all take care. All right, some of our guests leaving that were just dining with us. We actually are live and open in the restaurant, which uh, we started doing these videos while we have guests. So 
we can actually take this food that we're cooking and get to sample it out to our guests and it's going awesome. Everybody enjoys it. So thank you so much to Advanced Care uh, Heating and Cooling. They're, they just started dining with us about a week or two ago and they're loving the place and now we've already started building a fantastic relationship. And that's what Tarantino's is all about. Family. Not a place to come in and out of. It's not fast food. It's not a chain Italian restaurant. It's truly about family. It's as if I'm inviting you into my home kitchen and cooking for you. So we want you to come in, relax, enjoy your family, your friends, and have fun and build relationships. So this is not an ordinary restaurant. Swainsboro. Sissy, how are you? All right, we are now ready, I believe, to fry this. You know what? I forgot tongs too. Today I forgot a couple things. Yeah, maybe not that ready. Close though. Can you do me a favor? Oh, I could have Harrison, it. My knee fell off. Yes, yeah. Really? <laughs> I need a set of tongs, please. Yes, yeah. We have a good time food, here. But they're not known for being organized. You don't want to work here and you don't want to eat here. That was so funny. I still can't believe I got all those applications just from being sarcastic, just having fun. I think I told you before, that's that awesome. was that was what encouraged me to apply here. I saw your post and said, oh my God, that's so unprofessional. I love it. What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're ready to drop these in. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry these till they're nice and golden brown. I'm gonna need another plate, please. Yeah, I got you. Just with the, uh... well actually, yeah, I do need another you need one. Anything else I don't know, <laughs> I don't know yet. Oh, could have been just a tad What's that? Could you need any of the other 14 things you forgot while I'm back here? No, I only forgot two today. So we want that pretty golden brown color. Obviously, this is brand new oil, so it's going to be really nice and golden. Michael, how you doing? The cigar man, hey, over here. I got your little sign right here, my friend. You guys got to get on his site and look up those cigars. Especially for those of you that love cigars, but the eggplant smells phenomenal. The Italian breadcrumb, can't beat it. I absolutely love it. Look at that color. See how that color's beautiful? That's what you want. And that's why it's important to, to pack in that bread and so it doesn't peel off on you. I pack it right in there so I don't lose any of that bread. In. You want your oil to be around 350, so if you have one of those little... Uh, Mel, how you doing, brother? Warner Robbins, thank you so much for watching. Remember, you guys, you can book me at any time to come to your home, your own private parties. Um, I don't care where it's at. It doesn't have to be in the state of Georgia. I go everywhere uh, to cook. Now, look at this. It's perfect. Right here. Look at that. Let this oil drain. Look at that. Can you smell it? Take a whiff of that as I'm dripping it all over my floor. What? <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. Just a tad bit longer. Perfect. The smell, even making meatballs. When you're frying meatballs, those of you that make meatballs, when you fry the outside, get that nice crust. Like the smell, the aroma that it puts off in your home is unbelievable. You want to eat the house. I'm about starving to death. So we're going to layer these in the pan like this. And this is what I do in the kitchen, obviously at a higher speed. Perfect. Just like this, gonna shut this oil off, and I hope I didn't get any on my sweat over here. Okay, so then we, we shingle it like that. That's how we do it in the restaurant. You need to try my eggplant spinach lasagna. I'll have to make that for you guys, for those of you who haven't. I know some of you have. We're gonna take the sauce, and we're just gonna go right over the top. A little more. San Mazzano tomatoes, the best, in my opinion. I tried to get that over the center, kind of missed a little bit, but that's all the sauce you need. It's because you want to taste the crisp of the eggplant. And then we're going to take mozzarella, a little bit. It's not eggplant mozzarella, but it is nice to have flavor. Everybody's accustomed to that, the American way of making uh, this eggplant parmesan. Then of course the parmesan cheese over the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to throw this in the oven for about two minutes. Harris! Harrison! This is why I need help. <laughs> Throw this in the oven for me, please. Yeah, I got you. Don't get burned. I'll think about it. 
Well, there is no uh, unemployment insurance. There's the back, there's the cooler, and the stove. That's it. I can stick my hand in there. That's a nice bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. Thomas, how are you? Where are you watching from, my friend? All right, so in about three minutes, that's going to be done. We're all done with the oil. All done with this little stove here. I can pop that up. And then we're going to have it plated, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. We'll garnish it with a little bit of fresh parsley. One second, let me grab it. Yeah, calling the name, I couldn't get you to come to the door. What? <laughs> All right. So about one more minute, that's done. So what would you guys like to see cooked? What would you like me to show you how to cook? I'll take uh, take any recommendations. What would you like to see? Uh, doesn't matter what it is, I'll cook it for you. We can go through it together and have some fun on live. And uh, obviously I'll be doing it here live at the restaurant while we're open so the guests get to try it. So if you're here and I'm doing these, you end up getting the sample of the food that I'm making, which is really cool. A lot of fun. How are you doing? Good to see you. All right, I'll take that dish now. Is it about ready? So yeah, so those of you that want to help with that Father, uh, excuse me, Father Christmas. I'm thinking I'm in England. I used to do that when I was in the Air Force. But um, that Tarantino's Tuscan Christmas, please let us know. Matter of fact, I need to get that box in here by the end of the week so we can start getting the toys together. So I'm very excited about that. Ready? Awesome. Hey, Facebook. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do is just take the spatula, go underneath. Now, normally I would have a, this a lot bigger plate. A better pasta. You can go a little bit longer than that so the cheese starts to bread, but this is absolutely perfect. Um, a little bit longer I would go with my cheese just to get a nice little browning on the cheese. But that's a clam parmesan. That's an order, and it would go on top of a bed of uh, spaghetti. And we can also uh, do it with Alfredo sauce, too, if you prefer. Let me set this over here. So this, let me grab a fork. It smells so good in here. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. You get the crunch, the sauce, you can taste the parmesan, the mozzarella, everything. It's not drounded with where all you taste is the red sauce and a little bit of eggplant. Well balanced, and that's what it should look like. But you come in here and it doesn't look like that, I'm not here, you need to call me immediately. You order something. But that's what it should look like, guys. That's the eggplant parmesan, $9.99, every Wednesday, all day amongst about, I think, another dozen or 10 other uh, pasta specials on the pasta category of our menu for those of you that are local. Once again, I'd like to thank Georgia Southern, Daniel Chevrolet, um, Colony Bank for the knives, and I'd definitely like to thank Advanced uh, Heating and Cooling. They're actually gonna start helping us with our, uh, making sure that all our fence and stuff like that are our change to make sure that we're running with uh, proper air with eating and cooling so guys thank you so much thank you for watching thank you for sharing keep supporting tarantinos remember if you become a subscriber to the page by hitting the support now button for two dollars and 99 cents a month you get 20 percent off your particular dinner entree for every subscriber it takes care of that individual and plus you save a good deal of money off those private bookings and those tuscan experiences the cooking classes i offer and all that so you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you tonight for $9.99 pasta. God bless and thank you.